Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here. I'm at the Ledbetter Indoor Academy, Bangkok. And I've had an exciting few days. Uh, David Ledbetter himself has been at the Academy. Uh, he was here for the grand opening, but he also spent a lot of time with some of the elite kids from the area and a lot of the kids that the coaches here coach. So that was very exciting for them. But the, the coaches here are doing a certification program currently and he kind of gave us a few pointers on that but also gave us a bit of insight into his coaching philosophies and experiences he's had coaching all of the top players. He's got so many world number ones. Currently Lydia Ko, who is the women's world number one. So he's coached so many great players. So to give us an insight into that was invaluable. But lucky for me, he also gave me a lesson and boyhood dream to have David look at my swing to be in the honor to meet him but also fantastic to have that opportunity but was it too much for him my, my swing it can be a little bit funky at times so he's worked with the world's best watch now the lesson where he worked alongside the bus man yeah, so David, I've, I've always tended to get quite upright anyway, so I've actually been trying to use kind of the A-swing stuff and feeling like the arm's like pulling across, quite like that, that shorter feeling. Mm -hmm. get, I'm turning better and my, you'll see my like shaft plane is a little higher than it usually is, but it's actually still, well you'll see in a second, it's still a bit low. And what happens as a result is I tend to end up working my hands too much through the ball. Mm -hmm. You'll also notice I'm powerful. <laughs> A good speed there. Yeah, you see, like, as, as an amateur, you used to get really like flicky. So I was always trying to hit like three quarter shots. So I didn't like trust the full swing. Mm -hmm. Just, just use my hands far too much. I used to be that guy that would flush it on the range and then couldn't trust it on the course because mm. well yeah you, know, you become a little bit uh, you know the handbrake is a bit hard when you're yeah. on the golf course you know because there's a few yeah. more a few more problems on the range. I mean, you've got a little too much play there with the club, and you can yeah. see, I mean, you've got, like I say, you've got you know, pretty good dynamics there, but it's like it's, it's always going to be hard when it shallows that much right. for the club to catch up, you know? So, and you can see your follow through actually, your, your follow through actually depicts a little bit, if you could just bring it back a few frames here, Steve, let's see, just the other one of the, uh, do you notice how, how upright the follow, your backswing is compared yeah. to, say, oh, your compared to your backswing. Let's have a look, look where your backswing is. Look where your hands are on top of the backswing. Just bring it all the way back. Yeah. 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 You can 
see yeah see where you know you've got sort of one plane here and you've got a much more upright vertical follow through plane you can see yeah so the one thing i think that would help you a lot okay let's see because you've got you have a sort of fairly handsy looking at swing okay yeah all right so let's let's see here do a couple of things here. Okay. So first thing, let's just choke down on the club just a little bit there, all right? All right, now, what I would suggest you do, I'd like to see you as you move it away here, you need a little bit more width here before oh, you okay. actually set the club, because to me, it, it does a lot of this. Okay. Okay, and then this right arm gets a little bit narrow, yeah. and then it expands this way, and it sort of adds sort of length to the swing. Yeah, that right arm, how you actually sort of work that right arm back is, is a big key. So I'm going to actually separate your thumb and forefinger there. A little bit just so because okay. this will actually help that right arm to get a little bit more extended as you move away here. Yeah. Can you feel that there? Right, now we can set it. Okay, now I just wind it up there, wind up feeling this right. Feel, feel where my finger is on your right elbow. You see how? Yeah, yeah. All right, see there's very little lift with that right arm. Right. Then from here, as you work down, you can start to feel that your right arm, if anything, starts to straighten out. The problem is, if you look in your, let's, let's go through your back swing again here. We'll do it from, uh, uh, from this angle, or from behind? Yeah, this is fine. So, so here we go, let's see. Okay, you can see how quickly, see how quickly yeah. the elbow separates, okay? Yeah. That right elbow, okay. okay? Right, which means that you're actually, you're getting a little narrow here. Yeah. Okay, so now watch, okay, as so it goes back. Okay, now it's sort of, at, you can see it's actually working this way. Yeah. All right, so you can see the gap between the elbows is getting wider. Okay, so now there's a sort of a lift, remember, the right elbow, to a certain extent, provides a little blocking action to the swing. In other words, it's, it's yeah. a resistor, okay? If your elbow just does this, it, it, and you're flexible as you are, it's going to keep going. Yeah. And that's exactly what happens. So, although it doesn't look bad, I mean, the problem is, you know, there's a lot of swings where you work on, and you look at a swing and say, it doesn't look bad, but why is it so handy? Why is it so flicky? Okay, now if we get up to the top here, let's see what happens now. Okay, so now, so you, I mean, you actually make a really good transition there, but the problem is, relative to where your body is, it's late. Okay, with all this sort of jazz going on, it's not catching up. So what happens is now, okay, your right elbow is trapped behind your hip, you can see that, okay? It's stuck in there now, you can see now the club, you can see how the club sort of works away from you here. It's, uh, you can see there's a lot of, there's a lot of outward, and, flippy motion through the ball. Okay. Like you, you'll see on the track man that pass not too bad but it's almost the extra rotation of the head that gets that path number looking reasonable. Yeah. I think that doesn't really tell the full story. No, it so it's actually, I mean, it, it, it looks way more correct out than that described. But yeah, you've got so much of this going correct. that it actually you know, just flips yeah. it back on the inside again. So yeah. that's where track man numbers can be a little bit deceiving. Yeah, because you look at it and say, wow, that's way too into up, which it is, but, and then you save it at the last moment, so, and that's, okay, so let's, let's see here, go ahead, let's take this set up. All right, so the first thing I would do is actually rotate your forearm this way more, okay, that's yeah. there. See where that is, as opposed yeah. to here, yeah. more there. Right, I'm going to put a bit of resistance there, now just work it back, move, move your forward, you've got to work it back, okay, that's it, okay. Okay, so we want that right arm longer, straighter, longer. Okay, right, now set your right wrist against the right elbow. Okay, do you with me? So in other words, instead of this doing, instead of you using the right elbow as a hinge, right, yeah. we're actually gonna get that right wrist, okay, so I'm gonna keep this here, get this pin for the right wrist there now. Okay, now keep, keep winding, keep winding, keep winding. There you go, that's it, right. Now you can see the right elbow, it's stopped a lot shorter, and it's gonna keep the swing a lot more compact. So now as you start to move, Okay, we can start to feel, if anything, that right arm starts to get a little wider. You know, I, you know how I sort of illustrate the way the right arm works? If you're a, an archer, okay, and you've got your quiver, okay, it's yeah. almost like pulling the arrow out of the quiver. Can you picture okay. that? Okay, so yeah. it's not like it's going, okay. okay. So yours tends to sort of, yeah, yeah. You know, you've got a lot of this movement. So the, there's a lot of inconsistency with the width in your swing. The radius of your swing does not stay constant. So what happens is, it's narrow, it's wide, it's narrow, it's wide. Yes. So you need to keep this more constant. Okay. So right, so, then, so what I want you to do, I want you to grab your right elbow with your left hand, okay? okay in fact, you see Sergio doing this drill a lot now. Every time he makes a swing, it's interesting. Right, so here we go. Right, now, you, now set that right wrist while you feel you retain the length in the right okay. arm, okay? It will start to fold, don't worry. I think you go. 
that's it. Right, now from here as you work down, you can see the right arm is starting to straighten out here. It feels if anything, it feels almost like throwing, okay? Yeah. But it won't be, just because you've got too much of this action. Okay. Right now from there, work it through. Good, do that again. And you can see, in interesting, interestingly enough, keep going, now set that right wrist, that's it, keep going, wind it up, good. Here, yeah. good, now we work it there. Now, watch how easy it is to swing left now. Yeah. Feel the difference? Yeah. So you can imagine if you're in here, that right elbow is trapped behind your hip there, it's going to go this way. And you can, for a swing, it's always looked like it's got too much wrist. Yeah. I'm actually feeling it cock because, of, like you say, it's all happening from here. But yeah, it's happening, exactly. So put, okay, now put both hands on. So here we go. So once again, it'd be a good exercise for you. Okay, can you feel that? So you, you, you really, I mean, this is an this is old school teaching. Yeah, yeah. It feels one piece to start with, yes. okay? I mean, I'm a believer in an early set, but you know, yeah, you yeah. set it almost straight off the ball right now. From there, that's it. Feel that right arm? Yeah. Okay, now, okay, I want you to, from there, wind up. And, okay, imagine the point behind your right elbow, and you wind up, and that's the feel. And you should feel a little bit more torsion in the right shoulder. Do you feel that? Yeah. Like you're loading the scat. Okay, so now from there you can come down. There you go. See, so you feel like you yeah. can, with this width here, you can actually feel like you can actually swing to the left. Now, so do that again. So, so, so if you put, put both hands on, so that there, right now. That's it. Good. That's it. Good. Keep the length to it. Right, that's it right now. Perfect. Now just wind up around that and go. Good. Good again. Yeah, see now, I mean, uh, let's, uh, why don't we have a look at that on film, how that looks, just yeah. uh, you swing it without a, without a ball. As you know, sometimes it's easier initially just to make a couple of practice swings and let's feel this now. But so just let's do it without a ball to start with. Okay, you can do this with the right arm. Okay, to the left side, other way. Touch it underneath. There you go. That's it. There you go. Perfect. Right there. Right now, hinge that right wrist again. Okay, there. Wind it. Good. Right. Good. Yeah. See, that's totally different. Okay, now let's do just normal now. Okay. Can we replay it? Uh, okay, we're fine. Okay, we're good. Alright, here we go. So, that's it. Right around. Okay, now, wind up and go. So, so let's have a, see how that looks for you. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Shorter than that. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. And it's now starting to free up. Right well, you can way. see the top of the club, the front of the club is starting to work to the left. So you won't, you won't have to have this rolling action going on because yes. the next little thing you've got to do from there is to learn that your right hand needs to, because it's done this for so long, you need to work the right hand under the left hand rather than over the left hand. Big difference. That that's different. Yeah. Well, no, that's a massive change. And it, it's such a good example of how, again, it, I've always looked too wristy, but I'm not actually working from the right point. You work it from here. Yeah. And yeah. trying to feel like this like straightens from that position I wasn't at the top. It just, you know, you can try and yeah, try and apply it, but it just doesn't. It just no, it won't ever happen. But let's see how this looks. Yeah, this stuff. It should feel a lot more restricted. It should yeah. feel, you know, you should feel this right arm longer. See, you've still got plenty of lag. It's not no issue there. But you can see that there's still a little bit of a roll through the ball. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's do this again here. So, just to give you the whole picture. A lot of times when I'm teaching, I'll give somebody the whole picture, give them the full yeah, story, yeah. and then just work on the little bits yeah. once again. But this, this. So just in that right thumb down a little bit more. Sorry, the right finger, the four finger. Sure you get the right finger. There. Right. Set there you go. Okay, I, I just 
wind that up. You can feel, you see the elbows feel like they're closer together too. Yes. Feel that? Yeah. So now as you work through here, so you can see now the butt end is starting to work left yeah. earlier. And so you, your goal at this point is to take that trigger and actually work it where it goes this way. Yeah. See so your trigger? I mean, so that's totally foreign to you because normally yeah, at this yeah. point you're sort of, you know, yeah. you're that. Right, so here. So, Good. So you really feel at that point, if you do this correctly, that you hit it more with your chest yeah. rather than your hands. Yeah, and that's always the feeling I'm trying to apply, but mm -hmm. as we see. But you want to, and you, you literally want to feel in your rehearsal waggle that you feel this. Okay. You want no movement with that right arm. So just tweak that right elbow up just a little bit to start with. There you go. Okay, it just helps to give. If you have it this way, it tends to want to go that okay. way. If you have it here, it tends to go that way. Okay. There, that's it. That feels a little wooden, but yeah. that's okay at this point. So now, now you can sort of set it. That's it. That's it. Everything works around that. This this elbow joint. Can you feel that? Right. Now, we go. Good. Does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. And it feels as well with. It's like you say in the A swing book. You know when you feel like the back of your hand is creasing. Right. That's a feeling that I've never had because I'm. Exactly. Yeah. And you see, because your elbows really spread apart a lot. Yeah, that's right in there. Good. Let's give this in a little bit. So it's a little more you sort of give it a shot. There we go. Now just keep this, keep this here then. Keep going. Just wind it. Good. You can see that's it. You, you do not want those. You're flexible enough to keep those elbows really pretty tight together then. Now go. Good. Perfect. Okay. So feel how your right arm will actually come across your chest. You feel how your right hand can work under rather than that way. So fantastic. Thank you. That should help a lot. Yeah, that's some real, real good. Well, you've got, you know, good you've got very good dynamics. You've got good flow in your swing, but there's no way you can control it when, when yeah. doing this. I mean, it's like it's just you know you've got like a, an explosion in your hand going. I mean, it's like you know, you've got that much speed, and that much lag. I mean, if you swung it a lot slower, it might help, but you don't need to use your power in the right way. So it's actually directed at the ball in a way that okay that. If the hands are in close, anytime you've got your hands out here, there's no telling where the cup base is going to be of impact. So, beware, there's a new buzz man. In town, vlogs beware. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Really excited.